what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel for another hot toys figure preview video today we are back with another figure from that special six figure day release uh which was last monday today we are doing iron spider his artist in edition from the movie avengers endgame so this is the second artist in edition figure from endgame uh the first one was wanda right which was released uh, a couple of months ago right i also do have her on pre-order on although unfortunately i was and able to get her artist in addition so i had to stick to the uh sculpted hair version today we are doing the artist in addition iron spider which thankfully i was able to get even though he is still an exclusive figure now unlike um black widow who was really who we did uh two days ago uh this guy thankfully does have a collector edition which pretty much is uh tom holland set scope with the plastic hair or uh, or the normal sculpted hair right so i am going to include this link to sideshow collectible since uh this figure is still pretty much up for pre-order unfortunately the artist in addition is not anymore right so um just an fyi right that uh those are the two versions for the figure there are no differences the collector edition again is um pretty much just everything that the figure comes with and the rooted hair i'm sorry not the rooted hair but the sculpted hair version and then the artist in addition is pretty much the rooted hair right so that's probably the only difference right now one thing that I'm going to complain about the Hot Toys, and I've seen a lot of people comment about this on previous videos about other figures, about other artisan figures, and it's the difference of the pricing. Uh, I understand that the artisan edition is much more legit. Uh, it's supposed to represent a more real figure, right? It's, you know, and so I totally understand the figure being more expensive. But if I'm not mistaken, this guy just for the artisan edition was $150 more expensive than the collector edition. And that to me, it is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it is too high. Of price uh too high of a demand now me like an idiot i went for the hardest in addition why why because again it's a different and I, my apologies i'm sorry 460 right so it's 120 dollars difference right still in all to me it is a very very high difference right and uh, uh i really don't think it's worth that much i think to me maybe a 50 to 60 dollar difference would be okay at most but a 120 dollar difference just for the rooted hair uh, it is way too much now again the reason i got the artist in addition is because it does look really nice on the images right and also um you know having all these tom holland figures it's nice to get some get nice to get something different right uh but still in all to me way too expensive right in my personal opinion right but again this is from avengers endgame and this is a 2.0 right so uh i unfortunately did not get to the 1.0 myself so i really wouldn't know the differences although i think hot toys did um provide some images so we'll make some comparisons right uh but let's go ahead and take a look at the images right so obviously iron spider uh pretty much is a suit made out of uh pretty much iron pieces by mr tony stark himself right uh iron man who pretty much designed this suit for peter right there are some fabric pieces but at the same time there's also plastic kind of uh armory uh with the guy now i had somebody one of my collective friends right uh mentioned this and my god shout out to him right he said they should have done a die cast and honestly i could not agree more with that ha I mean, why not do a die cast since, it's ha since it has some Iron Man figure? Um, I'm sorry, Iron Man armor pieces, right? Uh, why not go die cast with this figure again just to give it an upgrade and different look to the guy? Uh, again, it's not a complaint, right? To me, the figure still and all uh, has good pieces, right? And I think the suit looks good, right? So it's not a complaint, but more so a suggestion that I wish they would have done, which is again, go with the. Uh, the art i'm sorry with the die cast look right for the guy now there's great things that i see about this figure there's a couple of things that i am a little bit concerned about first i want to start with the head sculpt right so to me this is the best image that we're going to get to the head sculpt i think this head sculpt is absolutely perfect um there were some images right that i saw from other collectors who actually took pictures at um at, in hong kong right so they actually got to see this figure in person i thought that the lighting didn't do a really good job of this of, of showing how great this head sculpt is right um the lighting made the face sculpt be a little bit too pale now the face sculpt is pilled already right because obviously we're going based on that look that he had at the end of the movie right uh in that final battle scene in endgame so there is a kind of a pale look he's got some bruises some cuts right uh and this kind of like dark shadow um kind of uh i don't want to say the word makeup but kind of paint 
it's painted pretty much there's like a shadow here red kind of shadow here below his eyes to kind of show uh pretty much to kind of really give like that brightness to the to the face sculpt in itself that's why it looks even more pale than normal right and to me i think this is a great head, head sculpt i love the facial expression the rooted hair based on the images look looks really really good and again as i always like to mention with these videos with the artisan editions uh the images are always going to look good but of course we have to go based on when we actually get the figure how much of a struggle would it be to get this rooted hair uh you know you know set up correctly right uh will the hair arrive as it is shown in the images or all those are all questions that we do have and we'll we'll be able to answer once we get the figure right but to me again as i mentioned before to me the look the figure looks really really good in my personal opinion and i love the face sculpt right um now obviously as i always like to say artisan edition isn't really for everybody so some of you guys might prefer the sculpted hair version and i think that's totally respectable right um another concern that i have about this figure um is the body the body proportions uh i'm looking at some of these images man and to me the body looks weird um i don't know if maybe it's the design of the suit but man this guy looks kind of too skinny and not muscular enough it's like his body is too like linear right there's no muscles no shoulder you know bumps anything uh I don't know maybe it's me right maybe i'm looking at this suit totally wrong maybe you know in endgame he looked different but to me these bo the body proportions just look weird man he looks kind of like too short in my personal opinion uh so those are concerns of mine that the body proportions aren't the best that the but the, the figure doesn't look as mu muscular as he should be right now the paint applications on the suit do look do look really really good and if i'm not mistaken he does have some led light ups right right here on his sides um i'm not sure if they'll be bad batteries or um usb cables we'll see that once we actually get the figure right but again that is one of my concerns right the fact that uh the body proportions do look a little bit weird right on the guy now one good thing that we also get here as we can see is we get a lot of different eye lenses especially the kind of spider sense type of um not the spider sense but my apologies uh it's like a spider mode that he goes into whenever he's able to kill a, a lot of enemies at once which he did obviously in endgame whenever he was trying to protect the, the um thor hammer, right uh and i think that's a really really good function right and it should look really really good on the guy we do get a lot of also hand displays right which is pretty um pretty usual with spider-man figures right obviously with the spider web the you know kind of display with the hands you know open palms closed fists things like that so uh that's pretty much something that it's pretty expected right we do also get thor's hammer right although the hammer itself doesn't look really really detailed from afar but i guess we'll we'll be able to tell better once we actually get the figure in person but i'm glad that it included this piece because obviously this is one of the scenes of that final battle scene in endgame uh we do also get uh the iron man um gauntlet right uh for the infinity stones so that's a great thing as well again i'm not sure if those things already came with the 1.0 but just know that they do come with the 2.0 uh also the head sculpt has its rotating eyes which is great uh we do get a really nice display base as well kind of representing the battle scene and then we do get those new spider web designs so this is actually one of my favorite news of the whole figure believe it or not guys so i had asked with other um spider-man the um figure unboxings that i had done that i wish they would update the spider web designs and thankfully they have done it um i want to take a look at a closer image to see if we can and if, if we can see closer right so i'm gonna go all the way to the end so i guess this this is probably as good as it gets but uh, maybe we can go to these images like right here and as you guys can see the coloring is still kind of like his, his silver type of grayish right but the good thing is that the designs are different now they're more well connected to both hands um the posing is more natural with these spider webs so to me that is an amazing thing and i am really happy that they've done this because like, to me to me that just gives a much more natural pose to spider-man so i am very glad that it comes with that uh looking closer at the display base it seems and i'm not sure if it just comes with an, an, another individual thor's hammer or if we're just able to take away this hammer from the spider uh web dis design and then just put it on the display base 
right? I like the display base a lot. It's got some coloring, some weathering, right? A lot of rocks, right? Representing that battle scene at the end. So I think it's a really, really good um, this, um, display base, right? Um, last thing that I guess I have to say, and it's, and it's back to the head scope, right? So obviously we just got a Tom Holland figure, the red and blue suit from No Way Home, with to me the best head sculpt by far for tom holland and one of the best head sculpts that i have ever seen for the figure but now we get this masterpiece right here and to me from every single angle it looks like tom holland it is a perfect head sculpt right and now we ponder the question which is the better head sculpt right which are, whether it's this one or the one that we got with the red and blue suit now i'll save my thoughts for now i would rather wait you know a year from now until we get this figure so that we can compare them in person because again uh this is just a prototype as you guys know the final results will be a little bit different right so hopefully they're different in a good way not in a bad way but i can't wait to compare those two head schools plus because my god both are absolutely amazing right but if you guys want to uh, take a quick crack at it uh let me know in the comments which head sculpt do you guys think it's best whether it's this one or the one from the red and blue suit from no way home right uh other than that that's pretty much everything that i have to say about the figure itself uh this image right here shows the differences between each of of the suits um which this is um the 2.0 this is the 1.0 and see to me the paint applications there is like a darker red coloring to the this suit itself but again the body proportions my god i think it might be even better on the 1.0 just because the body just looks a little bit more natural and as i mentioned before with this one uh to this one it's just pretty much all linear no muscles no curves or no bumps in anywhere of his muscles uh even the body itself too straight nothing right i mean i really don't see any muscles so to me that is an issue in my personal opinion but again again please let me know in the comments guys if i'm looking at this wrong and i am totally out of line with what i'm saying uh, it's just a thought here when i'm looking at this body uh also it does come with uh his spider spider arms mechanical arms or whatever you guys want to call it they are much much bigger compared to the 1.0 i do wonder how they are comparable to the ones from the uh from the integrated suit and also the the uh, spider-man 2 uh figures right the advanced suit and then also the black suit itself right or symbiote suit whatever you guys want to call it uh so those things we would compare them once we actually get the figure in person uh going back to the last last image so pretty much just to summarize what we get here again it's the figure itself right for me personally since it's an exclusive we get the rooted hair with rotating eyes uh we get also of course his helmeted face sculpt right we get the spider arms we get new spider web designs uh we get a total of uh 10 hand displays we get a really nice display base we get five different pairs of eye lenses and then last but not least that spider web design connected to thor's hammer right to give it an extra accessory and then also finally um the iron man gauntlet with the infinity stone so guys uh pretty much this would be it for this figure um figure preview let me know in the comments please what you guys think about this figure if you guys did pick it up or if not uh or if you guys you know picked up the sculpt the version if you guys think this is worth the price let me know anything that you guys think about the figure right to me i really like the figure a lot but i am concerned about those body proportions and how the, bo the body is going to look because to me uh, it just looks weird but that's just my personal opinion but other than that i am very happy with this release the figure looks great right uh, also one more thing to me the pricing that is a big question mark as well but well i already bought it so <laughs> i guess i can't say much right as i mentioned before right this guy is still available if you guys want to get the sculpted version so i will go ahead and include the link to sideshow collectibles if you guys want to go ahead and purchase them uh but for now as always want to thank you for supporting me and my channel um if it is the first time that you're watching me feel free as always to like the video subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so that way you're always updated with any videos that i drop in the near future uh, a reminder that i am also on instagram and tiktok where i post daily images of my figures as well as updates coming up on my channel so make sure to follow me there if you guys don't mind again the links are on the description of the video so once again guys this is going to be it for this iron spider artisan edition 2.0 figure preview from avengers endgame thank you again for tuning in and i will see you next time